You're going to need shrimp, cilantro, red onion, red bell pepper, stuffed olives, a small can of tomato sauce, garlic, um, goya sazon package, pepper, and um, sazon seasoning, and the goya tapas para empanadas. You can find it in the freezer uh, goya section. Chop up a half a bunch of cilantro, chop half of a red onion, chop up um, one large red bell pepper. Okay, usually you guys want to use um, uncooked shrimp, but since I had cooked shrimp already, I'm just taking off the tails. Um, so it's up to you what type of shrimp you want to use. I'm using a lot of shrimp, but we do not need this much. Um, so I would just say you need maybe two cups of um, chopped up shrimp. You don't need this much but I'm going to be adding a bonus recipe, which you will see, so stay tuned. Okay, so you're going to add a little bit of oil to the pan and the minced garlic, probably like two tablespoons. And then we're going to add the red onion. It's gonna smell so good right now, you guys. And now add the red bell pepper and just stir it around a little bit. Okay, add the shrimp into the mixture. Now we're going to add the small can of tomato sauce. Now add the chopped cilantro. And add the one package of the Goya um, Sazon look how colorful that looks you guys and it smells so bomb so I'm going to add the stuffed green olives just a few like look at how many I'm doing like I don't even know how many that was um, some people don't like the green olive, so you don't have to use it, but it definitely gives it um, the flavor that um, you're supposed to have. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Look how beautiful that looks. So here you want to add the adobo seasoning that has pepper, but I added extra pepper, um, salt and pepper. That, that's up to you guys. Now it's time to open up the Goya empanada discs. Um, they already come pre-cut and they have little um, plastic in between them. So it's easy to pull apart. And you're going to spoon a little bit of the mixture inside, fold it over with a fork, and then um, press it together to make sure that the dough is, um, is together and nothing uh, comes out when it's being fried. Oh, yeah. 
and any type of tomato sauce just kind of um, dry it up with a towel because you don't want like any juices really um, going in the in the fryer because it, it gets kind of crazy in there <laughs> Okay, now you're going to drop them in the oil, which is like at a medium um, dial, or you know what I mean. <laughs> Put the oil on medium. <laughs> they don't take that long to fry. Just make sure that both sides are a golden color. Um, so once I dropped the first batch, I started doing the rest of the empanadas. And then once the first batch is done, you can put the second batch in. Um, you want to take them out and put them, of course, on some paper towels to drain all the oil off. So you guys, there's this much left over because I only did 12 empanadas when you can really make 24 or more. Um, I really don't know how much shrimp I had, <laughs> but I had at least um, after you, it's peeled and um, the tail is off and chopped up like three cups of shrimp. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm about to make some rice uh, within this and um, cook it all together with just um, jasmine rice. From the man, it says to the man in the bitch, see you in church. But then he walks on, but he doesn't help that man get on the ditch either. Finally, the man in the ditch, his friend walks on. Man, get out. So I added three cups of washed uh, rice and six cups of water because you're supposed to do uh, two parts water um, per one cup of rice. Um, this is kind of pushing it with the pot. I just didn't feel like bringing out another one to wash because I already have all these other dishes. But I'm going to add some white salt and then bring this to a boil over medium high. Um, and then once 
the liquid like goes down to the rice and it doesn't look um, watery, then we're going to lower it and cover it and keep it covered for like 30 minutes. See you guys, um, the liquid, the water has gone down. There's still a little bit, so in like a couple minutes, I'm going to turn it down low and cover it. Okay, I just covered it and turned it down to a number two, so that's pretty low, or what? That's like a three, never mind. <laughs> and I'm going to keep this covered for like 25, uh, 30 minutes. And then after you can fluff it with the fork, but I will show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, God Loves Sophia, which I'll have different recipes and other random things that I feel like dropping. And my Instagram is also God Loves Sophia. And follow my brand, Sophie Mishi, um, on Instagram and Facebook.